Hello everybody, welcome back to Rolling Intentions, my name is Jason, and this episode of uh, Rolling Intentions is brought to you by Choco Pies. I am not sponsored by them, but they are delicious, a little tidbit of information. It's also a tasty, it's, it, it is the current state of the uh, North Korean currency, and also a tasty treat. Anyways, a little fun fact there. Okay, so what are we doing? We are doing Lord of the Rings, the living card game. What do we got up here? We have... The hunt begins! So this is the hunt for Gollum. I'm starting a new cycle, kind of excited. I've already made some decks changes. We'll be showing them, hopefully I can show the, the decks beforehand. It's kind of like I give you a, a, an idea of which decks I'm playing with. Um, anyways, blah blah blah. Hunt for Gollum, it, it's, 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 these, these beginning quests are uh, going to be kind of weird in the sense that uh, they don't work it exactly the way I want them to. So there might be a couple of rollovers. It's going to be a mix of the core set. You're going to, so you can see some cards you've seen before, and a mix of a larger mix of the new cards. Roughly around 30 new cards, 30, 32. It really depends. Sometimes it's 28, and then just kind of a mix of the core set, kind of in there. Uh, in 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 around about, uh, you usually get about uh, uh, about a 50 card deck uh, that you're playing against. Sometimes it's bigger, sometimes it's less. It really depends upon uh, the scenario. So, we've got Gandalf has requested your assistance in search for the elusive creature known as Gollum. Your search begins in the Anduin Valley between the Mirkwood Forest and the Misty Mountains. The Misty Mountains roll! Okay, do Dungeons Deep, my friends. Here we go. So, who we got? Uh, we've got Aragorn, son of Aragorn. Or son of some, I don't know. He's the son of somebody. Uh, he's the king, or he will be, uh, if we can uh, do this properly. Um, and we got Theodred. He's back. He ain't dead. Uh, and we have uh, Eowyn, uh, daughter of um, the Rohan king. Theo Theo Theoden. There you go. Um, okay. We got our team. Uh, slight changes to the deck. I added in. So, uh, once again, I got some new, new cards now. So, I'm, I'm added the core set into the new cards. Uh, didn't really use the hero. The hero that came with this is Bilbo Baggins. He is a lore character with nine threats. Uh, really wimpy stats. One will, one attack, uh, I think two defense and th uh, three hit points. Or even two hit points, I think. And he's a hobbit, obviously. And he draws a, uh, first player draws a card every turn. So that's his ability. So I would draw an extra card. Pretty sweet. Nine threat. I can deal with it. Um, I can definitely deal with that. Uh, but, um, I, I didn't want to go with lore right now. I've already had a deck kind of built. Kind of want to just continue on and uh, just add it in. So I got some uh, some signals in here, um, some deer name marks, and uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, right. Took out the uh, the toques because really in only, in multiplayer they work, but in, in single player they're kind of kind of just little wimpy. Well, actually for two they're not too bad, but they're not the greatest. So we put in some uh, the new horses as well, uh, horse breakers. I'm sorry. So let's continue on. Uh, first thing he wants me to do here is reveal a card per player. Well, there's one player, one card. Uh, it's a nasty one, because it's such a high threat off the hop. Uh, while the, the, is the active location, attachments, and event cards cost one additional matching resource to play from hand. Okay, it's not the active location, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and control in and start the game. Ah, so glad to have all my heroes throughout once, because that was pretty brutal. Pay two, drop a uh, steward of Gondor. We'll go ahead and drop some more coin down on Aragorn. Uh, I did have that in opening hand. Uh, usually, I mulligan a little bit, uh, at least mulligan once to try to get it. If I don't get it, sometimes I'll play. Depends upon the quest. Sometimes I'll just forego it. I got a nice uh, grouping of uh, cards in here. Actually. This is not bad at all. Uh, do I want to play anything? Uh, the answer will be absolutely not. So let's go ahead and quest. I'll be questing here, giving him a money, sending him back up. So that'll be four, five, six, seven. Oh, a win revealed. Each location in the stage here gets plus one threats, and then discard card. Now, that pretty much whiffs. That's a, that's a four. Uh, so that'll be three altogether on the current quest. Oh, right. Reveal one card. Oh, wait. No, we didn't even look to see what it did. After, after we... Okay, so it didn't matter. Okay. 
Good. <laughs> I was like, whoa, wait a second. I didn't even look at the, the... So you make your way along the banks to likely find a place for gold. After you quest successfully, the place, first player looks at the top three cards in the counter deck. Reveals one, adds to the stationery. Uh, that's fine. So this is a four. Uh, five, six, seven. So one, two, three. Kind of want to stay here because there's a nice little spot here. Uh, let's reveal the top cards here. So I uh, gotta look at the top three here. Ah, uh, don't want an enemy. That's for sure. Uh, cannot. Uh, is the application uh, counter card should be canceled? That's a two. I'm gonna take this one. So add that to the staging area. A we'll shuffle afterwards. Discard the other two cards. Okay. So we'll just discard those. So it's that one and that one. It's going to be a bit of back and forth, it seems. Traveling. Uh, do I want to travel somewhere? Yes, I will travel here. My attachments will cost more. Oh well. So just attachments. And event cards. Ooh, event cards will cost more. Hmm. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, control in. I've got the money. I will go ahead and pay one, two, three, four. We'll drop down to Fearmere. Uh, got some more. <coughs> <coughs> money to use, I'm just wondering. I might want to save all that. So let's go ahead and quest. I'll use him to give me a... Uh, whoopsie, I got a little message here. Alright. Back to the game! Alright, so... um. Uh, we're going to be questing for a nice bit here, and could be worse, uh, could be worse, could be more, uh, four, five, uh, six, seven, but I don't think I want it to be more. Oh no, oh, well, that's okay. Uh, so that's actually four, five, six, seven, will only be three. That'll take care of this, but I will be successfully, uh, questing. Let's be looking at the top three cards. Ah, uh, none of these are good. Huh. Uh, win reveal. So these are the win reveals don't happen. So I'm probably gonna be doing that. So add him to the staging area, and the other two go. Discard, discard. Okay. I successfully quest. Okay, discard the other two cards. Uh, do I want to go here? It can't be cancelled. Well, I can't cancel anyway, so why not? Uh, ba -ba. I've got some dudes to deal with. Uh, down they come. So obviously, I will optionally engage the dudes first, and then I'll take care of the other guys afterwards. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to give them shadow cards. I'm defending with Fear Mirror against uh, the Misty Goblins. It'll take away your progress here. Oh, plus one attack. Uh, that'll do damage. This one will be undefended. Oh, another progress goes. Three if undefended. So that, that's all of them. That's actually okay, <laughs> actually. Uh, but that'll be one damage. So we'll put the one damage here. Uh, attack backs. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack and kill this guy. Because I can't kill him. Go in. So, right now, counter guards cannot be cancelled. That puts me in a, a finicky situation. Two, three, four. Alright, we're dropping four. We're going to drop down the uh, uh, the Longbeard Orc Slayer. 
Uh, he'll do damage to every orc in play. Uh, yep. So it's one to you, Mr. Goblin Orc. You like that. And let's quest. Send him back up with him. So that's four, five, six, seven. Oh, finally, he made it out in play. Uh, the Hunter of Mordor. Ooh. He has six hit points. That's so much. Anyways, he's only two. So that's five. That's one, two, three, four, five. Time to look at the top two cards. There's top three. Top three. All right. Haven't seen any clues yet. Still no clues. All right, let's bring the banks out. And the other ones will get discarded. Goodbye. Still looking for clues. 33 cards left in the deck. I'm bound to find one, I'm, 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 I'm sure. Uh, we're not going to travel here. Or we'll, no, we won't travel there. We'll engage this guy here. Or will we? Actually, we don't have to. But I think we will. Okay, because it's good to get rid of him in the early. So let's put him on this side. Let's give him a shadow card. Control S. Give him a shadow card. Okay. I'll spend one here off of uh, Aragorn. Let's sneak attack in Gandalf. Um, let's just nuke this guy right now. Boom, he's dead. I don't know what card that was, though. Mm. Ooh, what's this? Scar one resource from each hero's pool. Exhausting hero. Whoa. Yikes. I don't want that. Uh, he's going to make an attack. I'm going to defend that with Faramir. Nothing. No damage to Faramir because he doesn't get any bonuses right now. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's more than enough to, to nuke him down. Uh, actually, I think it's the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. One more than I needed. Whoo! He'll come back to my hand. Control end for another round. Two more monies. Oh, Gandalf's for days down here. Two, three, four. Let's drop down my northern tracker. That's good enough. Northern tracker, northern tracker. Let's uh, send him back up with his amount. So I'll be three, four. So that's eight all together. Control E. Three. Ooh, I don't like that one at all. Three, four. Uh, not a big deal. Four. That's four on this. One, two, three, four. Things get a little finicky here because I don't want that to go through. Uh, but either way, I gotta go ahead now and look at the top two card, three cards. Hopefully, there's a clue there. When revealed, the first player chooses and shuffles. The first player chooses and shuffles a card with a clue back into the encounter deck. Okay, so that'll just surge. Uh, each player raises a threat by one for each character that is not currently committed on the quest. Well, that's not good. <sighs> I don't want that either. So I'm going to take the one that is going to end up surging. False lead. And the rest of these can just get discarded. This false lead says that i got to shuffle a clue away. And if I can't, uh, it's going to end up surging. So let's just go ahead and let it surge. <laughs> Another one of these. Okay. All right. I can't do anything. I can travel, I guess. Let's travel to the one that hasn't have anything on it yet. And that's that's going to end up going back on top of the deck. But if it's shadow cards, it doesn't really matter. So 
But when it goes away, it's going to be one of the choices that I get. Ugh. Eh, well, whatever. Control in. What did I get? Oh, Horsebreaker. Horsebreaker. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Drop down Gandalf. Draw three cards. One, two, three. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, pay two off of him. Put Clearing Stone down. Now have... Uh, I'm in a better situation now. Uh, let's put another Smith Courage back on him. Uh, he's loaded with attachments. As what this deck seems to do a lot of. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I don't see what else to do here. I guess I can just quest here. So, questing, 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 questing. Quest. Yeah, no questing. I'll give him the money and he'll send it back up. So that's 8, 9, 10. So, almost guaranteed we're, we're going to be questing through this. Each location in the area gets plus one. So, uh, so I quested for ten, is it? Uh, four, uh, eight, nine, ten. Right. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's four. So that'll be exactly what I need here. So this will actually go on top of the encounter deck. Sadly. And this will successfully quest. Now it is a forced effect, so I'm guessing that happens first uh, before this advances. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at the top three cards. It's a clue. I'll be taking that clue and putting it out there. The other twos can go away, go away. All right. And with that, it's guarded, so a card will come in on top of it. And that'll be attached to that. Go away. And go to the next part. So, the wood is filled with the rumor of him. Dreadful tales among beasts and birds, the woodman said. That there will be some new terror abroad, a ghost that drank blood. Okay, that's pretty nice from the book, so... Uh, rumors have led you to the eaves of the Mirkwood Force, where the woodsman... Whisper a new terror of the night. Woo, Gollum. Force at the beginning of each quest phase. The first player looks at the top two cards of the deck, reveals one, puts them into the stage area, and discards the other. So, interesting. Okay. So that's probably going to stay there for a while. I don't need to travel anyway. Uh, yes, that's fine. I can travel there. Okay. Uh, I guess he's going to get discarded. <laughs> Thanks for the cards, Gandalf. See you, Gandalf. Control N. Lots of locations here. Okay, let's get some more money. And, yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's put out the other. Uh, Northern Tracker. Northern Tracker. Uh, I could just settle with the rest. So let's quest, 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 quest. I will use Honeysmith Curry. No, I won't. Yes, I'll use Honeysmith Curry. That way I can get the extra money from him. Cool. So the first thing I do is look at the top two cards. Choose one, put it into the stage area. So look at the top two. Ooh, oh my god, another clue. Sure, I'll take the other clue out. I'll throw that one back out in there. And it's going to be a guard it. Let's guard it with another clue. Well, actually, I don't think it can guard itself. So that would mean that the other one's going to be guard it. So that'll be the guard for this one. And... Discard one resource from each hero. Exhaust. Okay. So I'll discard a resource from him. 
Uh, exhaust if you can't discard it. Cool. No problem. All right. So look at all the clues I got here. After play quest successfully. Okay. So let's find out if I did. So uh, these are actually, this is actually there and this is actually, oh wait, that'll be back on top of the deck. Uh oh, I might have jumped the gun. This will be gone as a victory display. This actually would have came on top. Hmm. Well, didn't think about that. All right, let me let me go track back a little bit here. So what would happen? This was the last thing that happened. So I would have got to chose between this card and oh and this card. Okay, hold on. Doing some backtracking here. So that's on top of the deck. Okay. So this will be on top of the deck. Uh then this uh-oh. No. This would be on top of the deck. This would be on top of the deck. And then this would die on the deck. Okay, sorry. So I would have to choose one of these two. Derp. Sorry I had to go back like that. That, that wasn't very cool. Uh, well, I would have chose uh, this one here again. So I'll put that one back out. Take away the stuff. And then discard that. Okay. And then my actual card would have been this. Then it would be this, and then it would be this, and then it would be this. All right. So same concept, really. Just uh, yeah, because this would be the card, and that would be the one to guard it. Then that would be the card, and that would be the card. So really, not a whole lot of difference. Just this one came back out again. Actually, the other one could have worked too. <laughs> now that I think about it. Oh well, that's it. So uh, yep, yeah, I already did that. Uh, cool, cool. So now I can uh, add this up. So X is the number of allies in play. What? So four allies, that's four, five, and I'm doing what, 10? Four, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 11 to five. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add them all up here. So it's. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 versus 5. So that'll be 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I successfully quested, so let's just do it. Uh, players may claim signs of golem if it has no attachments. When claimed, the signs of golem needs to apply as a condition. After a hero's damage or leaves play, return this card back to the D. Okay, so let's uh, let's attach uh, attach it all to him. He seems to be uh, the do of the attachments. I, I, I probably should attach all of the him. Okay, you're right. I'll attach uh, one to this guy too. I just know about the damage thing. I don't really like those things. Do damages. Uh, travel? Yeah, let's travel here. Alright. Control in. Sorry for the confusion there. But I had to make sure that it was as, a, as accurate as possible here. Get two more. Okay. So. That was my new card. Uh, ba, ba, ba. can't play another fair here. Uh, do I want to play another golem? I don't know. I don't, I can't off. Ugh. All right, let's play Gandalf down. Lower my threat by five. Uh, have that. 
Uh, questing, 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 quest. I uh, will use Unexpected Courage and send him back up and give him the money from him. Uh, just so I have extra cash. So, will I quest with him too? I don't think I need to. So, I think that's 11 again. So, let's look at the top two cards. One of them's coming out. Reveal expositional cards from the counter deck? Probably not. That's probably not the one that's coming out. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Pages each threat by one for each character not committed to the quest. So that's three. Wow. Went down by five, up by three. Uh, these got two on them. Should be doing that. Okay, uh, so it's 3 to 11. Uh, let's count it up. So that's going to be what? Uh, 9? Uh, sorry. 9, 8. So 2. Yeah, okay. So 2 go down here. Don't no, need that. And this will be up and gone. We'll flip that over. So first thing what happened is uh, this. Uh, actually, the force effect. Oh, it's not force is a response. Okay, so this will happen. Any player who does not control at least one clue objective attach uh, the quest. Uh, da, da, da. If any player who does not control a hero with at least one clue objective is attached can uh, cannot commit characters to this quest. If there are no heroes with a clue objective, reset the quest to B. Okay. Yep, I've got a few. But anyways, this I get the response, so I'll put one on her. Go across the board here. And will I travel? No. Alright, Gandalf goes away again for the second time. Control N. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever. So, two more monies. I'll spend one. I'll drop down the Southern, uh, Snowborn Scout. That'll take care of this location. Uh, let's show one, two, three. I'll lower my threat by uh, a healthy six. Should have been drawing cards. And, uh, yeah, let's quest with everything. I uh, will use Unexpected Courage and send it back up. Okay. So it's just straight up Control E here. And deal one damage to 35 or higher, don't have 35 or higher. So that's game. So I'll be questing for all this. It'll be 8, 9, well, these guys are 0, but if I, I want it, need it, 10, 11, that'll be gone. Oh, hold on. What was, uh, where those locations should have been on top? Sorry, this is what, what came up. Banks of Anduin. This actually still will be on top, because that goes back on top every time. That's right. So that's what it would be. So still, doesn't matter. Uh, three versus everything, I don't have to worry about it. So that'll be complete. So I would have completed that quest. Um, uh, let's do that for shits and giggles. Uh, and that's the hunt for Gollum. It's, uh, it's swinging at times, but uh, a ton of locations. You yeah, need northern trackers, really, if you're playing in progression. Or some way to handle locations, because there's a lot of it. Alright, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Rolling Intentions. Goodbye.